What's your name? Ferdinand. What did you do today? No one, no one. del día de la carrera. ¿A qué hora empiezo? A las 4. ¿Nervioso? Mucho. Very, very excited about this moment. My God, this is exciting. I remember this. And you remember to attach the radio, okay? We're CIO. Yeah, oh. If the car doesn't go out, put it together. Would be, would be helpful. Look at this old helmet. This is yeah. like vintage Ferdinand. I, I get, I get <laughs> yeah, the car's as ready as it's going to be. I think we're all ready to go and see what happens. Excited? Yeah, for sure. Super excited. <laughs> Uh, a lot of things can happen, it's so mixed conditions, you can get lucky or unlucky with a few tents of pressure in the, in the, in the tires. Of course we want to be leading, but for now, as long as the car is in one piece, we're happy. You have a... Uh, like a, a wasp on the... For me, the number one, the association is on TV. I'm gonna go for a sleep. I'm just gonna go and grab some stuff. So now we have uh, 19 hours and 18 minutes to go. Ferdinand is getting in after the next stint and uh, he's going to be replacing Charles and then he's going to be driving into the night. He knows everything. I don't even need to do the work. Here we are at Le Mans, midnight, um, 15 or 16 hours still to go, fantastic job by WRT and Ferdinand, uh, currently leading the, the race in LMP2, uh, Ferdinand's just done a phenomenal stint, uh, which is still in the car, so far so good, no mistakes, they're doing the job. It's been a crazy race, um, here we are, what, eight hours into the race, uh, and 16 to go and so far I don't think I've ever seen a Le Mans with so many accidents. Every 10 minutes the, there seems to be another accident. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you read it there. Good job, Charlie. Thanks, man. You Why, too. Mate? I watch the skin on the right. I was shitting myself a bit. ears are hurting so much because the pressure from the helmet are pushing on your ears the whole time and I was like oh. in the safety cars I was like trying to move my helmet oh. actually I feel okay but then I need to go and sleep my next time I'm getting in the car is in four hours so like five in the morning <laughs> and it's one in the morning now 
You're tired? I'm not tired because the adrenaline is still high, but uh, I know I need to calm down because I can't stay like this for the next four hours because I will be screwed in the morning otherwise. But yeah, I did uh, four stints, which is longer than I was supposed to do, but we were really fast, so I got in the car in P5, I think, <laughs> and left the car P1 with a 60 second lead, which is awesome. So. Yeah, you shouldn't celebrate too soon though, because the race is still like 20 hours long or something. No, I'm less. I think it's 18 hours now. But no, it's easy to calculate. 16, yeah. In 15 hours, 15 hours, it'll be over. 15 hours is a long time. Man, when you've been on the car, what happened in, inside you? Like, what, que pensabas? What did you think? You que know? pensabas, yeah, yeah, I know what that means. Um, First, at the mid and, and in the last lap. Uh, first lap, I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, because it was raining and I was on the dry tire. <laughs> and they were like, do you want to put wets on? And I was like, ah, I think I can manage. And it was the right choice in the end. Um, but yeah, then I realized my drinking bottle is not working. So I was in the car for like nearly three hours and I was so thirsty. I was like, I need to drink water. <laughs> But then I just focused and uh, I was going fast and the tricky thing was in the wets was to keep the temperature of the tires high to have grip and I was able to do that and then I was able to overtake a lot and catch like a 40 second gap by going just really fast and I was happy about that. And then uh, after I overtook the leader, uh, my engineer came on the radio and said you're leading the 24 and I was like, I don't want to respond but uh, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> to expect anything when I came here because I prefer to be surprised than um, be uh, either satisfied or, or upset and uh, clearly that worked very well because we were very surprised um, taking the lead on the last lap uh, to win this. But, uh, we were leading for so much in that race and uh, just a few trickeries and problems that came at the end was like like strange because I felt like I drove so well and I was like I'm really proud of myself and I'm proud of everything that everyone's done and sometimes you can't control what happens so I just was accepting the situation that it was just not gonna go our way today and just kind of appreciate that we we did so well for so long um, without any mistakes but uh, then I just sort of continued having faith that something might still happen and it couldn't have happened any closer to the end where 
uh, unfortunately the other car had a problem and we won the race.